tell me how much my vehicle weighs. Hi. <laughs> Hi. We're pretty excited about this one. Uh, this is kind of one of the big, other than the cats, this is the biggest step we've taken towards Hawaii so far. Yeah. Um, and obviously getting the job and saving thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. um, so the we're super stoked. Step. Yeah, exactly. And this is being recorded before we're doing the video. Sometimes we'll do narration after. So we have no idea right now what's really going to happen. So you guys are really coming along for <laughs> us on this journey. Uh, so today we're going to weigh the bus. We're going to see if we can figure out kind of a, an average of how much it's actually going to get cost the ship and what we really need to do for locking things down. We're kind of going to get the logistics strapped down for that. Like what it's going to actually mean to ship this bus to Hawaii. Um, yeah, we have gotten quotes already, but not based off of the actual weight of the bus because we weren't really sure what it was. Um, so yeah, today's going to be a really awesome day to nail down some numbers and hopefully it's close to what we've already... Yeah been estimated that it's going to be which is just a couple thousand dollars yeah so um i guess first things first though we woke up at avery our favorite spot we just <sighs> keep coming back here love it and it was nice and chilly last night so we slept well and there was even there was dew on the grass it was like crystally and beautiful yeah. so it's been a slow morning and we let the cats out and many uh, just, times well, yeah many times <laughs> actually wandered around um Soak the sun up. Yeah. I feel like with working so much, I haven't really spent a lot of time in the sun. Um, and so I'm just and really enjoying just, you know, soaking it up. And I haven't done anything about this bed head yet. So there is, I don't know if we could fix with just the simple bus life shower. I don't think so. So I'm just going to take a quick sink shower and fix this bed head. And then uh, we're going to hit the road. So let's do that. When we were working full time, um, this is how I would have to take a shower every single day because I wake up with this gnarly bedhead every day and I can't go into work like that. So. He can't just throw it up into a ponytail like me. No, it's not long enough yet. <laughs> See? That's not. I threw oh. up everywhere and we used the towel and just tossed it. So now, um... Go shake around outside like a okay. dog. Shake it off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Does it look good? Probably looks really cool. Tavi thinks it looks good. A little life at it. Alrighty. Bus life shower. We are going to be weighing it on this big, massive scale. When you pull up to the landfill, they weigh you, and then you go dump whatever you're dumping, and then they have another massive scale on the way out, so they can figure out how much to charge you for how much weight you've left there. So that was Chad's actually brilliant plan to get the weight of the bus because without that we were like, where the hell are we going to be able to weigh this thing? But the landfill works like a charm. And we have to throw a couple things away. Okay. I was just wondering if you could tell me how much my vehicle weighs. 15,040. 15, Thank you so much. What is it, babe? 15,000. Holy. And 40 pounds. Wow. <laughs> okay, we're back at Avery. Um, Zaina's right now putting some quotes in. Okay, well, now we just wait and see. So we were just reading some forums on U-Ship. We'll actually put We'll put the link to exactly what we're reading in the description below. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, but what we found was a response from the Shipping Shack Incorporated. Uh, and this guy's basically saying that because Homeland Security, what is it? let me try and read. Because original, only original equipment is allowed in any kind of vehicle, being car, truck, RV, trailer, etc. There are no exceptions, which makes us a little concerned because we have almost no original stuff left in the bus. Mm -hmm. And if we're going to get denied by Homeland Security at the door, basically, after we've already paid to ship it. Right. That's pretty, that's a risk we have to look into right now. And then and it's also the other thing of like, if they're like, no, you need to go back and strip these certain things. Like if we can't bring the fridge or like, I don't know, because nothing anything, is original. Anything, nothing is original in the entire bus. We'd have to strip the floors, the walls, the bed, everything would have to come out if they want literally an original bus. So the only thing only. I think that makes us think is either don't either go or 
figure out how to buy a vehicle in Hawaii, convert it out there, still bring the cats if we're planning on being there long term. I think we have to th talk this through a little bit. So we'll get back to you guys. <laughs> So clearly we have a lot to think about over the next coming hours and days and we're going to try to get some food in our bellies so we can think more clearly. So next up is dinner. We just got some um, veggie sausages that we've showed you guys before. I'll have to, we'll show you the package when dinner comes and we're going to make bangers and mash. The whole meal is probably under, it might be right over five dollars but it's right around the five dollar range for chad and i both to eat and it's delicious packed with protein and awesome awesome flavor i'm really excited to share it with you guys all right welcome to our uh vegan kitchen <laughs> we've been doing um our meals that are under five dollars which is pretty much every meal we eat on the bus so we're kind of just coasting through our favorite meals right now and this one is my personal favorite through the summer and that is bangers and mash yes so to start off you gotta boil your potatoes for like 20 to 30 minutes pop quiz yes trick question Yes. What is more dangerous? <sighs> a sharp knife or a dull knife? You know I know the answer to this, a dull knife. <laughs> it's very true. <laughs> Make sure you have sharp <laughs> knives, people, otherwise you might cut yourself. Bus life. Bus of the life. not Bus many life. things we own, this is one of them. A knife shop. I, I want you guys to know first off <laughs> that I am not a vegan. And I can stand behind these sausages 100%. They are freaking delicious. And they're really great if you put them in something like a pasta or like we're about to put them in mashed potatoes and sauerkraut. Uh, I like to heat up just a little bit, maybe like a tablespoon and a half of olive oil. Whoa, let's put our faces in it. <laughs> huh. Hey guys. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> While it's boiling, I like to take this time to chop up about five to 10 garlic cloves um, and boil in the water with the potatoes. Yum. When I start to notice the potatoes breaking up in the pot as they're boiling, that's kind of my cue. I'm gonna strain my tates first. Then I'm just gonna mash them. We only have a fork, we don't have a masher. So I'm gonna mash them with a fork and I'm gonna mix in the, um, we're using soy milk. I like to start off with just a splash and actually go a little heavier with the vegan butter. Um, anyway, so mix those up until it's the consistency that you like. Now's when I'll also throw in the salt, some pepper. Sometimes I'll throw in some cayenne, spice it up a little bit. Garlic powder, onion Garlic powder. Garlic powder for sure. Onion powder for sure. Um, mm -mm -mm. And then go back to the sausage. Now my sausage is usually ready. Before we get everything together on the plates, I like to heat up the sauerkraut with the sausage. So this sauerkraut has been our favorite for a long time um, since we started making this meal. It's a dollar ninety nine. Sovereign. It's a dollar ninety nine. Organic, and we just got it off the shelf at uh, it's King delicious. Supers. Delicious. It's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. And there you have one of our all time favorite bus life meals. Bangers and mash. We start off with a base of mashed potatoes, topped off with the sauerkraut mixed with the sausage and onions. Grab yourself a beer, and you you honestly have a meal that uh, you can't top. So it's the next morning. It's like seven, seven thirty. <clears throat> I have my nice morning deep voice on. I should I have be a my morning nice radio morning guy. Chai tea on. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, after a long night of talking and thinking, a long walk, a long and morning of talking and thinking, we've been long, thinking about it this morning for the past since we woke up. Yep. So we just wanted to sleep on the decision, but uh, really, when it comes down to it, we love our bus. Our bus is our first home, and it's taken us all over the country. It's given us the best year of our entire life. Um, it's, and it's so spacious. <sighs> it's so big, and the cats really enjoy having all the space. Mm -hmm. However, Living Zeal is about, truly at its core, mm -hmm. Living Zeal is about not allowing 
items, material possessions to weigh you down. Control you. Or control you. That's kind of the essence of this is, mm -hmm. is shedding all of the weight of, of a mortgage and a car payment and all that kind of stuff and just living within your means and um, the way that you want. The way that you want. So with that in mind, we've decided, drum roll, <laughs> we're selling the bus. We still have six months until we are going to Hawaii. So we're gonna enjoy the heck out of it for the next six months. We're Definitely. gonna document it, of course. You guys are gonna see all the amazing adventures out west again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we're even gonna have a trip where we explore um, traveling without the bus a little bit here coming up soon. So don't worry, we're not abandoning the bus. We're, we're actually- We're not moving into a house or anything. We're going to do it all over again once we get to Hawaii. Yeah. Uh, we haven't decided. We've looked at buses and we've looked at vans in Hawaii. Um, we're trying to figure out what's going to be the best fit for us. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're still tossing that around and we have plenty of time to figure that out. Um, selling the bus is going to give us a nice cushion to go to Hawaii and start another conversion and mm -hmm. start our lives out there. So. Yeah, yeah. So that being said, we're going to put it out there to you guys and end this video off. We'll talk about this more as it gets closer. Um, I think, you know, we say with Living Seal, sorry, I'm, I want to add this in there. We say that it's, you know, easy to let go of possessions and just move on. And it's certainly not because I'm feeling that in my heart of like the bittersweet feeling of thinking about not living in this bus. But I also know that life is about changes and ebbs and flows and in order to have the best experience here you have to be willing to let go of things and move on to greener pastures so we're excited and this bus is going to be sale to you be for sale to you guys um we want to sell it in california in january or february of 2019 so we're not going to try and make any money on it at all. We're going to sell it for really half of what we built it for. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll announce the details for that as it gets yeah. closer. But yeah, yeah, we're we, we're anyway. going to sell it for half of what we put into the entire build with everything included in here, yeah. like ready to move in. Yeah. We want it to be a blessing go. to someone else. And I will quickly say we did think about putting it into a storage place for a while storing it somewhere for a year or two while we're in Hawaii but at the end of the day that's the other thing with objects like they're meant to kind of bless on and we want this home and space it has been such an incredible blessing for us to go on to bless somebody else and for someone else to get to experience all the love that right. we've had here so there are a lot of other things that we've realized I'm sure we'll talk about it a lot more in future videos because this is the end of the video. I'm mm -hmm. sure there actually aren't that many people watching anymore. But uh, we found out that you can ship back from Hawaii mm -hmm. really easily. Yeah. Or we're looking into that at least. So we're, we're deciding, you know, we think we're going to get something and do it really well, ship it back, and then continue our traveling in the continental United States after a year, two years, however long we feel like we've, we should spend in Hawaii. Yeah. Yeah. We're excited. We're It'll very really excited fun. for the prospects. We're very excited for this change. Um, we're very excited for the next six months in the bus because we look at the bus a little differently now. Oh, totally. And uh, I don't know. You guys are going to see a lot more of it. And yeah. um, we were excited for Saturday for the meetup. But I think most importantly, I think overall, we're just excited for our lives. Yeah. We're excited for Hawaii, too. That's the thing. Everything aside, like, the it's the land in Hawaii is calling me. And I know that it's going to be such an incredible experience yeah. to explore that land. So we have to go. All right, well, that's some huge news for you that I think we're going to end this video off on. Um, Wowza. Obviously, like, share, and subscribe. It really, really helps with the videos. Um, there was a, a lot of a lot of extra content I was able to put into a patron video, so patrons, go over and check that out. If you're not <laughs> familiar with our Patreon page, there's a link to it in the descriptions, or there'll be a right link. below this video. There'll be a link that should pop up here in just a few seconds also yeah. on the side. Yep. Yep. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. We love you so much, and we love... Love, 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 love. <laughs>